Holding is a fundamental skill that all pilots learn and perfect during their basic training. In normal airline operations, holding becomes much less routine. You might find yourself holding a few times a year if you're a passenger who flies regularly. With all of this in mind, let's talk about a few of the reasons why you might find yourself on an aircraft flying in circles prior to landing. Holding is often associated with poor weather. This makes the most sense to the traveling public as well. When the weather is bad, there is empirical evidence as to why your flight might be facing an airborne delay into its destination. The reason is mainly due to constraints placed on air traffic control. More space has to be placed in between arriving aircraft when the weather at an airport is inadequate to perform visual approaches. The same is true for departing aircraft. Controllers must allow for greater spacing between planes to allow for the legally required separation since the pilots are unable to maintain visual separation from other aircraft. If you're in the air and the weather conditions at your destination begin to deteriorate, ATC will assign holding instructions to your pilots. Sometimes this occurs hundreds of miles away if the airspace is busy on that day or if the weather is forcing all arriving aircraft to use the same routing rather than coming from multiple directions. The next reason has to do with airport capacity. It makes sense that you would be holding when the weather is bad. So why might you find yourself flying in circles through clear skies? The primary answer is to manage aircraft when the airport they're landing at cannot accommodate them all at once. A prime example of this is the morning rush at London Heathrow. Heathrow is only able to land arriving aircraft on one runway while the other is devoted to departures. With so many arrivals scheduled in the early morning hours between 0700 to 1000, it is common for flight crews to be instructed to hold for at least one racetrack pattern in order to wait for their turn. Air traffic control will attempt to mitigate this issue when possible. For instance, pilots are given quote-unquote flow management times that delay their departures when flying into busy airports like Dallas-Fort Worth or Los Angeles from closer domestic destinations. As Heathrow serves so many long-haul arrivals, it would be impossible to control their departures from global origins to all arrive in a sequence that is orderly enough to allow every aircraft to land straight away. And finally, another less common reason why you might find yourself entering a hold on a clear weather day has nothing at all to do with air traffic control. To the discontent of airlines and pilots alike, more fuel than required is sometimes loaded for a flight. One example of why this might happen is much stronger winds en route being forecast than are actually encountered. Pilots might also ask for more fuel in anticipation of a delay that never materializes. When pilots determine that their landing weight will be above the maximum landing weight of the aircraft, they might ask for a brief hold to burn off the extra fuel before making their approach. Chances are that you probably won't notice your holding unless you're a very attentive passenger. If you do find that your holding and the weather is clear, take a look out the window above and below you. You might just have a close-up view of another aircraft holding within a few thousand feet. Do you have any notable experiences of having to hold as a passenger? Share them with us by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.